Hello. Okay. What's up, everyone? And on this edition of IG Live Interviews, where I'm coming for every tennis reporter's neck, I am gonna interview. Dun dun dun. dun. Iga Chan. Funny story about Iga, which I feel like I should, I can talk about when she's here. So maybe I'll just hold it. I'll, I'll wait until she gets here. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm just talking about how young you are. Oh my God. Stop. <laughs> How are you doing? Very good. How are you? Good. How's the quarantine life? Um, I'm not in quarantine, so, but um, yeah, because in Poland they're opening restaurants, okay. and also I started practicing, so basically I'm not in quarantine, but I'm social distancing, so. Okay. Yeah, but it's very good because I don't have to talk to people and <laughs> I can stay home as long as I want. So yeah, it's perfect. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I was gonna tell everyone the story of how like I first started seeing you and stuff, and like yeah. how we first started talking. Um, okay, so for me, this is my version of the story. Uh, I first saw you in Notting, not Nottingham, Birmingham, I think. Yeah. And there was like constant rain delays, and I think you were warming up behind me, and I was on the couch, yeah. and I just felt yeah. like you kept staring at me. <laughs> I was like, why is she staring at me? Like, did I do something wrong? Creepy. Um, and then, wait, when did we start talking? Um, Toron in Toronto. In Toronto? Yeah, yeah, in Toronto. And then I was like, oh, actually, she's very nice. And I was kind of oh. surprised because I, <laughs> I thought you hated me or something. Why? Um, I don't know, because you were staring at me in Birmingham. And so the entire time, I was like, oh, no. Like, because I always thought you were interesting. So I just, I don't know. And you were, like, playing very well. And I wanted to just, I don't know, observe what you were doing or whatever. <laughs> just to be better or something. I don't know. Okay. I was like, you're mad at me. Maybe but I didn't I, like... have bad intentions. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Okay. Anyways, that was my version, and then you told your version. Um, well, my version is similar. I mean, uh, I remember that we were stretching next to each other in Birmingham, and I saw on Instagram that you posted, because your dad had a birthday or mm -hmm. something, and uh, I saw that on Instagram, and you commented, because someone, someone had a comment that, uh, and, and he asked if that's your dad, and you were like, no, that's my mom, lol. <laughs> and and I wanted to, I wanted to talk to you about that and tell you that it's funny, but I was too shy, so I just kept stretching, and then yeah, then we played in Toronto. So basically, we have the same story. <laughs> okay, similar stories. Are you ready for these questions? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think so. I'm not sure. It's 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 seven. Wow, you're prepared. How did um, you actually find these questions? Oh, um, well, I just think about, like, what I wouldn't like to be asked. You know, because, like, no offense, because I know tennis reporters are low-key watching this, but um, no offense, but they kind of ask the same questions over and over. Yeah. And it's kind of boring, so I'm just like, what would be interesting questions that tennis people don't ask? But then again, there's also some, like, regular questions that you've probably been asked in here. Well, when I watched with uh, Stefanos and Gael, well, these questions were great, really. I mean, yeah, they weren't things related some sometimes, so yeah, it was really interesting. You cool. should be a journalist. Oh, man, you know, my conversation skills aren't that great, but I'm trying. I'm trying to use this as, like, a tool to, um, like, practice. Yeah, actually, I was wondering why do you do that, because... Yeah, I always thought that you're shy and you don't want to talk to people. And right now you're interviewing everybody. And I'm like... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm like very bold on the internet and like not face-to-face -face most of the time. But then if it's face-to-face, -face, then I'm kind of like, eh, like, 
I don't know. It's different. Yeah, I know the feeling. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. What is your favorite meal? My favorite meal? Um, I would say tiramisu. Okay. The Italian dessert. Um, yeah. And I like watermelon, but that's not a meal, right? No, but like, you know, when you go to player restaurants, what is like the one thing that's consistently? Um, I love salmon. Okay, yeah. so do you eat sushi? Yeah. What's okay. your favorite sushi? Um, well, probably with tempura, because it's like, I don't know, the taste is the best, but it's not healthy. So usually I, I take with salmon, everything with salmon. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> what is your tennis player that you looked up to when you were little? Oh, actually, it's weird because I wasn't even watching tennis when I was mm -hmm. little. I was just playing, and usually when I got home after school and practices, I was so tired of tennis that I, I was like, why are my parents even watching? I mean, I, I had enough of tennis on court, so I wasn't watching. Um, but, well, when I went to my first Junior Grand Slam, it was French Open, I realized that tennis is greater than, than I thought. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like fell in love in, in sports, so I was watching Rafa a lot because I love playing on clay and, and he's Rafa, right? So Yeah. Okay, yeah. interesting. Have you ever been to Nadal's academy? Yeah, twice. Okay. It's really cool. You, you talk to him? No, but actually my conditioning coach met him in the elevator and I was mm -hmm. so jealous because she had a photo. <laughs> but, um... No, we haven't, but I talked with his uncle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, moving on. What is your most memorable match? <laughs> Actually, I think with, <laughs> against you. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wow. Mean, because Toronto was um, special for me because um, usually when I was playing in big stadiums, mm -hmm. I got so stressed that I couldn't play. Uh, and I had the situation like that uh, in fourth round uh, on French Open because I played against Simona and I lost like 6-0, six, 6-1, six, uh, six, six, six love and um, and yeah, when I was playing Caroline uh, the round before our match um, I was losing 6-0 and then I won and that was amazing for me because I finally like knew what to do to win on big stadiums mm -hmm. and well yeah, and when we were playing against each other, I was, like, excited the whole match. And, <laughs> yeah, even after, when I lost, that was the first match when I when I said that uh, I lost, and, and I'm not even mad, because it was just great. Yeah. Mm. So, I was I'd watching against Caroline and yours. Yeah, I was watching your match against Caroline. It went on for, it was very, like, you ended at a very late time, no? Yeah. And actually, that was also new for me, because mm. I don't get to play night session, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> but that's also, yeah. I would say, sorry. It's okay. Um, probably when I was playing Wimbledon Juniors, mm -hmm. and, and I won, um, semi-final was great, because I was playing against uh, Wang, okay. the 2001 girl from China. You know her? Wang. Okay, wait. What does she, <laughs> what, what does she wear? Wait. Is she lefty? No. Well, there's a... Because there are two Wongs. Uh-huh. There's one, and she's lefty, and there's the other one, and she's she's right-handed. So I was right playing against the right-handed. Okay. And, and it was, like, such a long match, and she was, she was playing so fast, and it was mm -hmm. a grass. It was on grass, so um, I kind of like didn't know what to do, and I won seven five seven five. I don't even know how. <laughs> what do you mean? Because she was playing so fast, and I was late to every ball, and I was just I don't know giving back the ball. And usually I'm the one that that is attacking, so mm -hmm. it was really weird. <laughs> yeah, 
You were being a, what's it called? A wall. You were blocking yeah, kinda. everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool that you remember that. I remember you telling me about this, though. The, well, um, that was the grand slam I won, so. Yeah. So I remember everything. Mm. Well, you have the same, probably, about US Open and Australian Open, right? Um, uh, so I feel like I can remember every match. It just takes a while. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Um, probably cookies and cream. Why? Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Oh, you don't like me anymore. It's it's really hard. Okay, I still like you, but like it's really hard to accept this. Okay, well, um, I don't okay, know why. Wait, wait, wait. Top three then. Let's okay. see. If... Um, cookies and cream, chocolate. <laughs> oh no! What's wrong with chocolate? Everybody I just loves chocolate. I don't. What? <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just don't. It, uh, it's just How's something it about the taste. It just tastes weird. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. And stracciatella, I'd say. So what is? And stretch that's just stracciatella. You know that? Mm -mm. Oh, that's just a. Uh, like a cream with chocolate. But oh like my gosh. I'm just gonna I'm sorry. You know what? for your birthday present I'm getting you chocolate bars cause like <laughs> <laughs> wait, but, what? wait. There must be a story behind you not liking chocolate. I mean No, I think that like kids' taste buds are developed by what they eat when they're younger. Cause my mom always fed me like vanilla and green tea and stuff and that's my favorite flavors now. Oh so, okay. I don't but, know. Yeah, I just don't. I don't know why I don't like chocolate. Okay. I'm gonna pretend that you know Stefano said that cookies, cookies and cream is his favorite flavor too. I think. Who? Stefano's. Oh really? Hmm. He said cookies and cream or like sorbets, like raspberry or something. It was like two completely different things. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. This is the last question. Are you ready? Really? Yeah. Did it feel okay. short or long? Um, short. Sure. I mean, oh. yeah. Okay, that means I'm doing good. Because usually if you have painful interviews, <laughs> it, it feels like yeah. it's taking forever. Yeah, you're doing great. Thank you. I'm really trying. <laughs> okay. What are your goals outside of tennis? Ooh. Um. Outside of tennis. Actually, my goal is um. Like to be able to have normal life after tennis. I mean, because I'm not saying that tennis we don't have normal life because we have normal life, but I mean, like um, being able to do things not related to tennis. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to be like open-minded about things and learn new stuff, and uh, yeah, basically that's my goal. And to have a lot of people that I can talk to, because when I was younger, I was like I wasn't talking to people. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I just want to not be alone. Yeah. Oh, that's really serious. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's very interesting. So, like, you know how some people become commentators after they finish? Yeah. Would you Oh, I'm okay it? with that. Oh, I mean, okay. actually, I was thinking about that because um, I feel like um, Poland can have, like, better commentators. <laughs> so maybe I'm going to be one. But um, I also want to do, like, other other things. Mm -hmm. Like, to develop not only in sports, but, like, other skills, too. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. well, it would be nice if I if I went to uh, university 
after I finish or maybe do online in a few years and yeah just to know more about the world yeah what is your goal after tennis or yeah. outside of tennis yeah um hmm. honestly i feel like i want to in the end not be known for being a tennis player oh that's gonna be hard <laughs> yeah it's gonna be super hard but like I don't know. Tennis is such a short time in our lives. Yeah, exactly. And, and I feel like I don't know. It feels know. like everything right now, right? Yeah. And then it's gonna be gone, and that's and kind of scary. Later, yeah, it's gonna be like we look back on it as like I don't know. We trained since we were very young, of course, and usually the average tennis player ends when they're like thirty. Want to say yeah. thirty or older? Um. Depends. I mean, Serena. Yeah. Right. Hmm. I'm gonna say 30 for average, though. Yeah. 35 fish, maybe. But that's still like not even half your age. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of weird to think about it. And actually, like, because when you do some, when you do something for your whole life, then. It's really confusing when you you don't have to play tennis. And actually, um, Caroline Wozniacki, she finished on Australian Open, right? Mm -hmm. And I think she she's like she was like open minded her whole life, and I think she's doing great after yeah. she's done. I mean, I can only judge by social media, but yeah, yeah, I think so. But I think people who travel a lot are more open-minded because they see so many different things. Yeah, that's like, true. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm done with my questions. <laughs>